After the Dallas Mavericks signed Spencer Dinwiddie, many people believe that we had no more moves to be made. The roster's fine. You don't want to shake it up too much. Just get ready for the season coming up. But there's one player whose name keeps getting bounced around between fans and online over who they want to see gone, and that's Maxi Kleber. And in an article that was published just a few days ago, goes over a possible trade scenario where we trade away Maxi Kleber and get back Dorian Finney-Smith. So in this video, we're going to react to this article, break it down a little bit, and give my thoughts on whether I think we should potentially trade away Maxi Kleber for Dorian Finney-Smith. But how's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, bringing the latest news on everything Mavericks related. And before we get started with today's video, you guys have been doing just an amazing job of just smashing that subscribe button. We're at 12,805 subs at the time of this recording. If you want to be up to date on everything Mavericks related, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing that we do. We are so close to 13,000 subs. I appreciate each and every one of you. But like I said in the intro, Maxi Kleber is a player that a lot of people thought was going to get traded away once free agency started. And we saw in the playoffs, although he was injured for the majority of the playoffs, he didn't really see a lot of play. He did play very well in the first round, played a lot of good defense, not necessarily a factor on the offensive end, but his defensive presence was felt. And once he came back from his injury, which a lot of people did think he came back too soon, he was a non-factor. His presence wasn't felt. He wasn't able to hit any of his shots. You could see him holding his shoulder a whole lot. He... It, it just wasn't there for Maxi Kleber. And some people, like myself, thought that once free agency started, Maxi Kleber may be one of the players that would be gone. Obviously, Tim Harvey Jr. was traded. I thought Maxi would too. And as it stands, we still have Maxi Kleber. He will be our backup power forward to PJ Washington, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You don't want to just trade away Maxi for just any four. You want to get a good upgrade, you definitely go for it. But I'd argue that the trades and the moves that we did do this offseason were pretty good. But let's take a look at this tweet that came out earlier today. It says, an NBA mock trade idea. The Brooklyn Nets received Maxi Kleber in a 2025 first round pick, top 10 protected. And the Dallas Mavericks received Dorian Finney-Smith. And I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, first of all, I don't want to give up any first round picks. And even though I love Dorian Finney-Smith, he is one of my favorite Dallas Mavericks that played for the team over the last few years. And I would love to see him back, but I think giving up a first round pick would just be a little bit too much. You also give up a lot of size. Dorian Finney-Smith is about six foot seven, and there's no way that he would really play the four position unless you want to go small, which probably wouldn't be the best idea at all as backing up PJ Washington you need to be able to have the size to play defense against bigger guys and Maxi does do that at a good level for what we're paying him for versus what we could potentially get in the free agent market which there's not a lot of power forward just laying around that we could pick up Maxi Kleber isn't bad but if you trade Maxi for someone like Dorian Finney-Smith, you're losing size and you're losing defense. And the defense is the one thing that the Dallas Mavericks have prided themselves on for the last year. But if you want to take pride in your own internet defense, you should, you should definitely look into a VPN. Shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. How's it going, everybody? Marcel Martin, Mavericks Digest. Are you tired of not being able to watch your favorite sports team or maybe your favorite movie or show based on where you live and your internet restrictions? Well, sounds like you could use a VPN. Unlock the internet today with NordVPN, your ultimate digital shield. With over 5,000 servers in 60 countries, you can access any content from anywhere in the world. NordVPN encrypts your internet traffic, ensuring your data remains private and secure. Whether you're streaming, browsing, or shopping online, NordVPN provides a fast, reliable, and safe connection. Don't let borders limit your internet experience. Take control with NordVPN. Sign up today and enjoy the freedom of the web with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And if you use the special code of NordVPN slash Mavericks, you can get four months free. Throw the code up on the screen for you guys. NordVPN.com slash Mavericks get four extra months free. Don't limit yourself to not being able to see everything that you want to see, everything that you want to do. Get a VPN, access all the content that you deserve, and you'll thank me later. Shout out to NordVPN. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. But like I said, the defense would definitely falter to a degree. A backup for PJ needs to be someone that's at least six foot ten, long, can play defense, can also shoot the three ball, which wouldn't be a bad thing. And with Dorian Finney-Smith, the offense would definitely be better. But like I said, you definitely lack on the defense. But like I said, there was an article that came out just a few days ago saying the Dallas Mavericks coach's corner should Mavericks trade Maxi Kleber for Dorian Finney-Smith saying if the Dallas Mavericks consider trading Maxi Kleber for Dorian Finney-Smith, weighing Kleber's three-point shooting and rim protection against Finney-Smith's perimeter defense and rebounding will be key. 
And the article continues saying, as the Dallas Mavericks continue to refine their roster in pursuit of an NBA championship, the idea of trading Maxi Kleber for Brooklyn Nets Dorian Finney-Smith is a rational one to consider. Below, we examine a potential trade comparing the two players' contributions fit within the team system and statistical production to determine whether the Mavericks should pursue this deal. So let's take a look. Let's let let's see what they got to say. They're saying uh, Kleber is known for his defensive prowess in three-point shooting. Standing at six foot ten, Kleber provides valuable rim protection and the ability to guard multiple positions. Last season, Kleber averaged 4.4 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.6 assists in 20.3 minutes per game. He shot 34.8% from beyond the arc, showcasing some ability to stretch the floor. His defensive metrics are more impressive with a defensive box plus minus of 1.2 highlighting his impact on that end of the floor. And so, yes, the defense, that's what you get from Maxi Kleber. He's only averaging four points, three rebounds, 1.6 assists in 20 minutes. So you're not really looking for somebody to just stuff the stat sheet of just a bunch of points and rebounds. That's what we got other guys for. But unfortunately, I guess to our benefit and sometimes detriment, our only option when we want to space the floor and go small is playing Maxi at the five. And when he hits those threes, it's great. When he's able to defend against other bigs, that's great. Going small isn't a bad idea. But like I said, if you trade away Maxi for Dorian Finney-Smith, who else will you play at a small ball five? I don't think PJ can do it. He could probably do a good job, but I don't think that's the person that we want to rely on to play a small ball five. And it's not going to be Dorian Finney-Smith, where Dorian Finney-Smith could in a way be more like a of, of a Derrick Jones Jr., possibly. He's older, but his defense is still there. He can still shoot the, shoot the three ball pretty well. But continuing with this article, they also say that Dorian Finney-Smith, a versatile forward, is celebrated for his defensive capabilities and rebounding. At six foot seven, Finney-Smith can guard positions from shooting guard to power forward. Last season, he averaged 8.5 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 1.6 assists in 32 minutes per game, while shooting 34.8% from three-point range. Finney-Smith's defensive, defensive statistics, such as defensive box plus minus of 0.5, reflect his reliability as a perimeter defender. So yes, you're kind of just giving up interior defense for perimeter defense, or you're giving up your, yeah, you're giving up your interior defense for more perimeter defense, which I think we have. I think we have enough perimeter defenders that getting Dorian Finney-Smith, even though he would be coming off the bench, wouldn't be a good idea. And again, we have Maxi to back up PJ. If you're going to trade away Maxi, make sure you get someone else who can back up PJ. Otherwise, you have a clog at the wing position where we have Najee Marshall, where we have Quentin Grimes, who may play at the four, most likely the three. Getting Dorian Finney-Smith and not sure where he'd be with the lineup, whether he's one of the first guys coming off the bench or maybe he's a third string, who knows? But I'll throw the picture back up. You do get a little bit more from his from his box score. You get 8.4, or I'm sorry, 8.5 points as opposed to Maxi's four. So there's more scoring. There's more rebounding. But again, it's the defense. I love Dorian. I would love to have him back. But with the way the team is constructed right now, Maxi is the better option. But continuing, they say offensively, Kleber's three-point shooting is a significant asset. His ability to space the floor is crucial in today's NBA, especially for a team led by playmakers like Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Kleber's career three-point percentage of 35.7% indicates consistent shooting, providing, providing spacing that allows the Mavericks primary ball handlers to operate more efficiently. So yeah, we don't really have another option when it comes to spacing the floor using other, some someone else other than Maxi, unless Derek Lively just comes into this season like, hey, Small ball me. I'll play the four. You put, I don't know, PJ at the five. I don't know what other way we can go small ball without Maxi. And if you trade Maxi for Dorian Finney-Smith, you eliminate that option completely. So how do I feel about potentially trading away Maxi for Dorian Finney-Smith? I don't like it. I don't buy it. I don't think that's something that'd be good for the team. Again, you're giving up someone who you can go small with. It may not be the best option. It may not be the best power forward stretch four in the league, but you're limiting that entire option on your offense and defense for another six foot seven guy who's going to guard on the wings, who can shoot the three ball pretty well, can score, defend on the wings, just like we have with Quentin Grimes, just like we have with Najee Marshall, just like we have with a bunch of our guys already. So, I don't like this trade. I think that we're fine with Maxi, unless for whatever reason the Utah Jazz want to trade us Lori Markinen for Maxi one for one. I'm totally fine with keeping Maxi. We have a couple young guys waiting to get their their numbers called up. We got O Max. We just signed Kessler Edwards, so we do have some guys that could potentially back up Maxi or replace Maxi in the next season or two. But I don't think that's something that we need to just jump to right away. We already made a couple moves this this off season. You don't want to make too many where the team just looks completely different than where it was a few months ago, and then you got a chemistry issue, a locker room issue. You you don't want to do too much. 
But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you had the opportunity to trade Maxi Kleber for Dorian Finney-Smith, would you pull the trigger? Let me know in the comment section down below. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for making this far to the video. Make sure to check out our Twitter and Discord. Links in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member. We are doing our giveaway. It will be this Sunday. We'll be going live, giving away something on Sunday. The only way to enter our giveaway is become a channel member of any tier. But until next time, y'all take care. Drink water. Peace.